this is part two of the video of dealing with layout we had to fiddle about quite a bit in the first video to get some decent layout when we wanted to incorporate text and images in the standard editor um, it just isn't isn't very good for that it's okay for text and the odd one image um, but if you want to be a little bit more adventurous you need to edit with Elementor which is a, a kind of sort of block editor so what we're going to do is we're going to click edit with Elementor and this is just a different style of editor um, the same editor that I've used for developing the website with and you can see when it loads up the the template that I've set up for news articles will show the featured image in the top left hand corner so that it's consistent across all your news items you've got the date it was published you've got the sharing links you've got a carousel of other um, news articles in that section and then of course you've got the news article itself so you'll see that there is a box around it and on the right hand side you've got this navigator and it's a section with a column and inside that you've got the text editor which actually has the text in and you can see it here on the left hand side and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom and you see where it says drag widget here I'm just going to click on the plus and I'm going to go with this layout called flexbox okay and what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to have kind of two columns if you like in the in the left hand side I'm going to have the image and in the right hand side I'm going to have some text but I'm probably going to do this so we've got a couple of images there so I'm probably going to do this so that we've got this arrangement this two by two so I'm just going to click on that and you can see that we've got these pluses now so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to click in the plus there and on the left hand side you've got your widgets there and I'm just going to go with a, an image widget so I'm just going to drag that over and drop it into position and it says choose image so i'm just going to click on that and i want the picture of yogi for this one which is that one that's a 500 by 500 one select so there's a picture of yogi i'm just going to change the image size i can either change it to full or to a smaller size 300 by 300 will be fine You've got your alignments there i'm just going to center it in that box it's up to you whether you want to include the caption so attachment caption so picture of yogi from merlesque and then in this right hand part i'm going to go with this first paragraph just after anticipation builds peggy and yogi's love story so if i click on the pencil icon there it is there to be edited on the left hand side and I'm just going to highlight that paragraph that I want I just want to get it down to offspring right click and I'm just going to do cut I've actually cut a bit of the title there but not to worry we'll we'll get that back in a minute and then here I'm going to click on the plus there and I'm just going to put a text editor one in drag it into position you can see that the default text is just some mumbo jumbo so i'm just going to paste in what i have there i'm just going to cut out that bit which was part of the title that we wanted i'll just pop that back in there so that i can get it um, get it later 
Okay. So I'm just going to get rid of that image. So I think I'll probably have this Prospects Charming Party Poodles. Probably in one of these boxes below. Let's just do some formatting on this one. So the pencil icon, and you've got a style option here. And for typography, if you click on that, you've got a few styles to choose from. Usually body is the one that we use. Okay. So if you look on the left hand side, we've got container. And then we've got four containers. Those are the four blocks. So I'm just going to add the heading. So I want that anticipation builds Peggy and Yogi's love story. Actually, we'll we'll get that. Cut that out of there back down to the bottom it should go with that actually so we'll just pop that in there so rather than oops rather than pasting that title in there like it was before click on that I'm just gonna add a heading so that it's separate on its own and then in that box there we can paste that anticipation builds peggy and yogi's love story we've got the page title there which is a, a main heading if you look at this you can see that that's got h2 selected as a heading two so that's okay that's okay So that's that one and then I think what we'll do is we'll have Peggy's picture and we'll maybe pop that just in here so if we click plus there we'll get that image again oops I've actually dropped it in the wrong place I'll just drag it to where I wanted it which was there Click on that like we did before, search for Peggy, there's a 501, select, and then these two, the prospects and awaited arrival, I'm going to put them in next to that new thing there. So the prospects, if you look on that, can you see that that's a heading three there? So we, we may need to remember that so we'll just highlight that right click I'm just going to cut that I'm going to go down so me box here click on the plus I'm going to take a, a text editor I'm just going to go in there I'm just going to paste that in that has got the headings in I'm not too worried about doing them as separate ones um, but I do want to set the style same as the other one so on typography we want that set as body okay so it'll match this text there um, let's have a little look so we've got choosing a poodle puppy considerations and tips So I'm going to have this in a new box underneath. So I'm just going to do plus flex box. And I'm just going to use this one that's got an arrow that's pointing straight down. I'm going to add into there a text editor one again. Drag it over there. I'm just going to go back up to the top. And I'm just going to get what I want from here. 
so choosing a puppy all the way down including the summing up cut that from there all the way down edit that paste it in put the style set the typography to body and then this one here which was the original one I want to get rid of that completely so the whole section thing so if I just click in the six dots there that will select the entire section right click and delete so now we've got that now I think on that Yogi one we did that a 300 by 300 so I'll just edit that image there we've got large there just set that to 300 300 so it's the same and center it and include the caption okay and I'll just move that out of the way and then down here on the left hand side you've got update so we'll update that page and if we switch back to the page and do refresh hopefully we should have a nicer layout so that's not too bad so you can see how you can um, get a much better layout I think probably what I'll do is this a weighted arrival five weeks to go I'm just going to remove that from there so we don't have the gap here and just pop it in above this choosing a poodle puppy so we'll just go back we can actually see that gap there as well so if I go in and edit the content on that one and cut and if we go into editing that one into the content I could either paste it in there or actually I could even just include a new text editor and just drop it in above it set the style typography to body click on update I think if you do have a go with the Elementor editor and you're getting a bit of a mess, just send a, a support request and um, I'll have a look at it for you. Okay, so if we refresh that page and see how that looks now. okay that's a lot better what we can also do as well whilst we're in the Elementor editor we can actually have a look to see what it might look like um, on other screen sizes so down the bottom here you've got this thing called responsive mode and if you click on that you'll see at the top then you've got desktop which is what we're on at the minute laptop tablet portrait and mobile portrait if I click on laptop it'll show you what it's going to look like on laptop don't, don't worry too much about that one just there at the minute it's just the the content we've been editing so that still would look okay on a laptop have a look on tablet portrait so here um, <clears throat> it doesn't look quite so good because we've got this great big gap there so what we would probably do in this case is we would probably have to fiddle about with the widths so you can see each container if you click on the square there you can see it highlighted there each container has got 50 it's probably 50 percent um, so probably what we want here 
is for the main container instead of our direction being left to right we want it straight down like that okay and then on the container with the image in just select percentage and set that to 100 and the same on this one and the same on this one and the same on this one okay so this is our this is our tablet portrait one now so you've got so that looks a lot better that way and if you go to mobile it should be more or less the same because it copies the settings going downwards you can see even the text scales on there as well so that one's been optimized for different different things okay click on your update and then there we'll go exit and then update here and then that's done so I think probably to be honest the editing your content with Elementor is probably going to be a little bit too difficult but do have a go and if you get into trouble send in a support request through your control panel and I'll see if I can sort it out for you otherwise you're probably just best off using the standard editor and um, and not trying to do anything too fancy